seven miles west of Nome Harbor. First to the grounds, the massive 80-foot, 80 80-ton 80 Christine Rose, helmed by Mr. Gold himself, 41-year-old Sean Pomeranke. Last season, we got over 1,000 ounces. I want to do better than that this year. Banking over $6 million in the last five years, the Pomeranke family wrote the book on gold mining in Nome. Yeah! This year, got to try to pay for the inland mining operation. One member of the family is writing a pricey new chapter. Get into starting up a new mining operation. Expensive. And to do it right is really expensive. And it's pretty hard working with family. Woo! But now. Dad's spending all the money as fast as I can make it. Even after all that gold, the family bank account is back at square one. We spent every dime we had and then some. He's putting stuff on loans and just buying left and right. I hope he knows what the hell he's doing. What Steve is doing. The dozer cost me $125,000 right off the bat. Is massing an army of machinery. Here's another excavator that you need to load the trucks with. 80,000 bucks in Seattle. 125,000 bucks for these two loaders plan on this inland operation to set up the Palmer Key family for the next 25 years. 25 year job, gold mining for all the kids. That's what I'm wanting to set up here. And I want one big last hurrah for my, before I kick off of this world. Hopefully I can keep up, make more gold than what he can spend. Right in this particular area, we did 40 ounces in a day. That's why I wanted to come back here and see what we left behind. This whole area cleared out. Dad spent more in one year than I spent in the last four years. We should be thinking about retiring, not spending every dime we make. On a mission to keep up with his old man's spending spree, Sean Pumranke's pushing the barge into a risky position. It's not nice up next to the beach, but it's one of the last spots that was good. Taking some unnecessary risks, but Tom Cod getting picked over. With gold on the claim growing harder to find, Sean's taking advantage of the high tide to clear out potential pay dirt in just four feet of water. I'm going to pull ahead and do a new swing. But I got to get my foot up so I can pull myself forward. Constantly pivoting on two three-ton, 35-foot anchor spuds, Sean uses the excavator arm to move the barge to fresh ground. Now I'm going to drop both my spuds. Get him to stick. Start digging again. Who knows how long we'll be able to mine this close to the beach. You need to run, run smooth and continuously. You don't want to have downtime due to bad operating. You got to get moved over. Pulling to the side and trying to pick the spud, and the, it just got sucked, stuck in there. While the spud was still stuck in the ocean floor, Sean tried to pivot the barge with the excavator. Oh. Snapping the spud cable and pinning the dredge to the sea floor. Now I gotta get to the top of that spud and get a new line on there. This sucks. No broken spud cable that close to the beach. The biggest, biggest issue is the spud could sink and then you're stuck pinned to the beach. You're pinned to the bottom of the ocean by a big pipe. The ocean will beat the dredge into pieces up close to shore like that. This mistake's going to cost us $1,000, $2,000, $3,000. Now get into the top of that spud's going to be a pain in the air. To attempt to repair, it's a 35-foot climb to the top of the spud before the tide recedes and leaves them stranded. Oh, nice catch. Go 
going good. Got the old cable off. Got the new cable up. We got to get the new cable on the winch. Get it winched up. But now I got to get down off of here. With the new cable attached, all that remains, tighten and test it. Yeah! Well, we got it. It's not perfect, but it's gonna work. With the fix in place, see how in the hell we're doing. It's time to see if the risk is worth the reward. Got into some really good ground there. Every ripple's got gold behind it. See this truck here, this is chunk. That was a good, yep. good cut. Go ahead and I'll fire, I'll fire up and keep on mining. Seems like they're good gold right here. By the end of the day, that header carpet should be pretty yellow. On the other side of Nome. Gonna start running the wheel. Sean Palmranke is looking to reload the piggy bank. Get some of this gold into the bucket. After risking his dredge out on the water, Sean is cleaning up some hard-earned gold. They work way better when you keep them loaded with gold. Better be 52,000 bucks worth there. Gold that is old man. That's what the new engine for the 1100 cost. Already has big plans for. Dad's spending every dime we have. We should have a nice little cushion in the bank, but this as soon as I feel like we get a little cushion, he buys another piece of equipment or just spends it. You got to take risks up here. If you don't take any risks, you're just going to end up sitting behind a desk somewhere working for the government. That ain't the Pomeroy Keys. To cover all of Steve's latest splurges, Sean will need 70 ounces or better on the scale. Here we go, here we go. going to be pretty damn close, boys. Oh. Right there. <laughs> 74, 75, 76, 77.1. Bam. You were hitting for 75. <laughs> 77 ounces is worth $92,000. Thanks for the gold, boys. They didn't even have to fight you for it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a, I have a feeling this inland mining is never going to stop uh, taking all the gold.